I know what I know and that's that so yeah <laughs> it's good to know y'all don't be afraid to know these things don't be afraid to do your own experiment and see for yourself like come on if you're not getting help then sometimes you have to do what you got to do to get the help you need like period end of discussion you got to do whatever it takes to you know get the answers that you desire to get or you need to have because you're having issues with whatever okay honey i'd I be just like an investigator honey i had on my blazer uh dress on yesterday honey i was like i'm walking in here like an investigator you know, but I wasn't investigating the office. But you know what I'm saying? When I when I got back home, like, yes, bring it on. Bring it on. Okay. <laughs> they think they're so smart, but they're not, y'all. So um, they actually quite, quite stupid, to be honest with you. They don't know what they're doing. And... I'm glad that they don't know what they're doing because that helps me to easily pick up on what they are doing. So, even though who did this to my phone has to be someone that is into uh, computers and really good at it. You know how some people are really good with computers and then some people are just flat out criminals like they just asked about how they can do something and other criminals tell other criminals what to do and then they just do stuff to people um y'all know how it go but i'm just saying i'm making a point i'm using the maybelline cocoa eyeshadow here just a single shadow i like this this looks very natural i love the natural look of it so um yeah y'all like for real called it it was so easy that's the main thing about it it was so freaking easy and i just listened i had no idea that i could actually do what i did and actually like find out so much and i went ahead and shared it with Y'all, hold on. I went ahead and shared it. That's to let me know what time it is, y'all. Um, so I know how fast I need to get or how, you know, how much time I have to finish. But anyways, it's so amazing how, you know, I would have never thought to check that. Like, I'm being completely honest. I would have never thought to check that because y'all know. And see, the people that do these things, they watch your videos, y'all. If you're doing content on social media, they watch your content. And when you get to talking like, I don't know, uh, computers, you know, I've said it for many years creating YouTube videos. I would say, you know, I'm not good with electronics and I don't know what I'm doing. See, they were all looking at it. They were all looking at those videos and they go, okay, well, let's get somebody that do know about technology and we can hack into her accounts and hack into her uh, phones and stuff like that. You never know who's watching you. Okay, I'm letting you know you're on YouTube or on social media. Y'all know. You never know who's watching you. That's why some people don't even want to be on social media. Some people tell you, no, don't put me in no social media shit because you don't know who's watching you. And you do have to be careful on here. Like, you really do. I remember back in 2018... I had this um, this one person, I had this issue with a person that kept getting in contact with me through Instagram. And the, the really scary part about it, y'all may use the NYX 3 Step to Sculpt palette. The real scary thing about it is that I was in an area 
that I was not comfortable with. Y'all, y'all remember that? Like I had moved for a family member basically and I didn't regret it at the time because you know family is family it's one of those things you know when something happens or something goes you just do stuff out of love you know for love even if you love a, a place or you suggest another place and if that person doesn't want to you kind of try to want to get something or do something that a person would like in a sense and i knew where we were going was a huge mistake but you know sometimes sometimes you can't convince people or let you know you can't i'm using the yellow powder sometimes just you know people just don't it just like sometimes I don't listen to people. Sometimes I have to do things my way. But I will listen though. I will listen to somebody. But you know the ultimate decision is on up to the person. And that goes for anybody. Like you know you can tell somebody something. But it's still up to the individual. Whether they want to go along with it or not. You know. So I get that. But I knew it was a big mistake. And I even said it. I said you know, we, you're going to regret, you know, I, I said that. I said, you're going to regret this. This is going to be a huge mess up. And since that time, it this family has suffered so badly um, in many different ways. And um, But I can say God is providing protection. Jesus is providing protection. For me, I'm speaking for myself. You know, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. What I've experienced and what I've been through, I know that God has protected me. And I know 100%. But yeah, somebody had contacted me when I was in this area that is basically very... you. you Y'all may think where I'm living at right now is very country. This place is even countryer, okay? Like, you feel like you are in a deserted area. And I'm not talking about being country. Now, I'm country as country can be. Like, most of y'all always be telling me, oh, you're so country and all that stuff. Yes, I am. That's my roots. That's, hey, my family is, is from the South. My mama's from Georgia. My daddy's from Alabama, here in the state of Alabama. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm who I am. And I don't regret that at all. I'm just who I am, you know? Just like y'all. Y'all probably don't regret who y'all are and where your family, um, you know, originated from or whatever. You're proud of who you are. But I'm just saying that where I went to, it was a very criminal area where a lot of people do criminal activity and the people in the area get by with they let them get by with it because it's such a small rural i think that's what you call it like a small rural or country country would be the slang word for it i think most people say that's just slang to say but do you call it rural i think you do and so people just get by with crime and they do stuff, breaking people homes. They were doing it to me down there. So I was going through a lot of shit down there in that area. And it was really frustrating. Like I got to the point where I was like, you know, I got to get out of here. You know, the Lord just spoke to me and said, Sheila, get out of here. Like these people are completely going in and out of your house when you are away from your home. And they are targeting you and they were just waiting on you because how i know i was targeted um yeah this is just good information like i just feel like talking about this because i don't i told y'all my updates and stuff um like when i got there this is how i knew i was targeted immediately i didn't say nothing to my family members because i everybody was kind of stressed out from the move because y'all know how moving can be so stressful and just imagine with two people like two 
two households were moving out. So it was even more stressful because it was two and not just one person moving. Okay, so the 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 family member that had her load first, they didn't touch nothing. Uh, the truck stayed locked and everything. So I waited on, I let her do her load first. And I didn't care. It was one of those things I was like, as long as I get my shit, it don't matter. I go second. It don't matter. Um, and it really didn't. It didn't matter to me who went first or whatever because we couldn't do everything all together because we had one haul truck, okay? So we had to, one person had to wait while the other one got their stuff and the other one had to wait. That's just the way it went. So we went back to the apartment where I lived and all my stuff was still there. You know, nobody had touched it. Um, but when I put it on the haul truck and when we got home, I was thinking we were going to get everything out like we did with her stuff. With her stuff, we got, they got everything out that night. Okay. And that was very smart. And I thought we were going to do the same thing with my stuff. But when we got down there, the, uh, family member said, I'm so tired. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like like unloading your stuff and i was like I, I got upset but because we were like in an area i didn't know nothing about i kind of just went went with it because i was like okay i know that she's tired because we had to actually do everything ourselves we didn't hire no men what no men except for my brother that was it he couldn't do much because he has a disability so really we would tell him to go back inside you know and just you know he couldn't do much and he tried but he couldn't do much and so and even even me i couldn't do much uh and what my other brother came over and helped with my stuff to get my stuff in the truck because i couldn't get my stuff out either because i have an inner ear problem so, um, when we got down there, we ended up leaving my stuff in the truck. Now, this don't make sense here, okay? This don't make sense. Somehow or another, okay, the keys were with the family member. But somebody got access to the key and opened the haul truck and stole my stuff. Okay, stole a good bit. Okay, when I told y'all that everything that I had in my house was stolen, this is the real, this is the truth. Okay, this is what, how it went down. Okay, they got into the haul truck. The next morning, we went out, and the family member came to me and said, Sheila, the chain was absolutely unlocked. And I was like, what? Oh my God. And see, I, I didn't know nothing about this area. I just knew it looked spooky from the beginning. It God told me to not do it. Like God told me, said, go back to where you was at. And that the family member handled the situation on her own. She'd have to handle it herself. And as I was going to get the money order. And so, I was like, you know... Very, I'm, I'm a kind. I'm a kind of person that you know, stuff touch my heart. I, I try to be a helpful person. Okay, I do. I try. Um, and I didn't listen. I didn't listen. God told me, said, "Do not move here. Do not." And when I went to that truck and saw what was in the truck, and when I when we pulled out everything that was inside the truck, I was like, I was about ready to explode. Um, it was stuff stolen and um, I found out why it was stolen. I've got the understanding of why these people wanted my belongings. I won't get into that because that gets real deep, okay? It gets very deep. 
when justice get here y'all i'll be able to tell y'all the whole story but i can't talk about but so much of what i've been through um because it's one of those things when it pertains to justice you just can't just open your mouth about stuff you just don't you can give people a little idea about what's going on but you just can't sit there and just blah 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 and blah 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 you can't do that so they stole some of my stuff and then the little bit that i had in there when i would leave to take my daughter to private school because i was taking her to a private school i would travel back up here to my hometown to let her get her schooling and then Eventually, I let her go to the school where the area where we were at. But when I would come up here, they would go inside my apartment and steal more. And also do sexual acts and all that. They were using my apartment for sex, like a hotel. And that's what I found out. That's what I realized. So, me 